Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to give you guys a follow-up on the Arco 70 and the Logitech Review Google TV set-top box. Now these are two really different products, but both are running the Android operating system, and as a result, they work in conjunction quite well. And they do this through Logitech's Harmony application. Now this can be found on both the Android marketplace as well as uh, you know iTunes so it will work with any Android or iPhone OS based device and essentially what it allows you to do is use that device and in this case the Arco 70 tablet as a Logitech Harmony remote. Now if you haven't watched either of my reviews of the Arco 70 or the Logitech review uh, jump back take a look at those so that you get an idea of what we're doing here otherwise if you've seen them this should be interesting, at least it is to me. I think it's a great application. Uh, it's not quite as polished as it could be, but again, it's the first version and first product of its type. Yes, the iPhone does have an IR-based universal remote uh, product that's out there, but this is far superior to that, even in its early stages, and that's because Logitech is behind it. Now, Logitech, as many of you know, uh, you know, sells their Harmony line of universal remotes and the idea there is to reduce clutter and boy do they work well and the irony of the situation is Logitech has now by putting out this application kind of allowed for tablets and smartphones to cut out the clutter of a Logitech Harmony remote but not entirely as I mentioned before since this is a pretty you know rough UI that is a little clunky and will get you know improved over time now I'm gonna show you that application on the uh, Android tablet we have here in front of me but before I do that I also want to let you guys know that I am going to be giving my impressions you know after a week with the Arco 70 and also my impressions in general on the Logitech review thus far after having used it for a while but let's take a look at the application essentially you just fire it up and you get a splash page here with the activity of watch google tv as well as all of your devices in, the, in this case i will only set up uh... three different devices now if you touch any of those devices it will launch and give you all of the different functionality that you would expect to get from your harmony remote um, went, whoops went all the way back to the home screen there a little sensitive to touch uh, despite me saying it lags the touch screen now if you hit the actual activity button of watch google tv you see that you get um, a pretty elaborate layout and that's where I say it's a little bit clunky as you can see along the button you have some standard Android buttons as well as it, th this menu actually slides to give you um, control of the DVR and some other functionality here uh, we have an analog uh, directional pad as you can see page up page down and then there are four tabs here the first one gives you, you know, volume, control, channel, you know, essentially DVR, basic television functionality. The second tab is the one you just saw, the directional pad. The third is a mouse pad, as you can see, with uh, magnification uh, buttons for zoom in, zoom out, and page up, page down for web browsing. And then finally, most importantly, your keyboard. In this case, I have Swift Key installed, so not the stock Android keyboard that you would get with this device but it works really well really happy with it also you can see you have your standard search uh, also voice uh, commands so you can use a little bit of the voice commands I don't know how many people want to talk to their TVs most don't even want to talk to their phones but I do like where uh, this is going you know it's something that's really interesting if they can get the Android 2.2 uh, you know Google voice commands integrated into this I really would, you know, it would be cool to be able to navigate the web using your voice. We'll put it that way. Does every user want that? Absolutely not. Each to his own. But, uh, you know, pretty self-explanatory, everything I've shown you. Last thing to point out within that application is it does have a status bar-like drop-down menu. If I can get it to drop down. Oh, it's because the keyboard's up. Let's get rid of that keyboard. Let's drop down the uh, menu. Again, it's giving me the keyboard. I'm not sure why. Essentially what that drop down menu, oh, I don't have to tell you what, it gives you your devices uh, and inputs. So essentially everything you saw on that first home page is within your control while you're in your activity. So that sums up uh, this application. Now back to my impressions after a week of experience with the Arco 70. Battery life is fantastic, happy with the screen, happy with the processing performance, happy with video playback. 
Um, but there are some issues. Uh, first and foremost, as I mentioned in my first review, touch screen does lag a little bit. A uh, factory reset and a calibration of the touch screen should really help. That's why you see I'm running the stock UI, uh, not Launcher Pro. I'm imagining, or not imagining, I'm hoping that 2.2 will resolve most of the lag that we're seeing in the touch screen right now. Uh, so that's uh, not really a big issue. Also, the charging LED I find is a little bit finicky. It's supposed to blink when charging is completed. Sometimes it's not doing that. It's, uh, you know, kind of does whatever it likes sometimes. Bottom line is the device is charging, so you don't have to worry that the device is not going to charge. Again, really enjoying the slim uh, profile form factor, HDMI out, video, uh, you know, and audio playback, really good. So I think Arcos really did this right. They executed well. This is one of the only Android tablets other than the Samsung tab that does work out of the box. Uh, so that's really impressive. Granted, it doesn't have Android Marketplace. If you watch my other review, it, you know, it can be easily installed. Just go to Arcos fans forums and you'll, you know, use Google. It is your friend. Uh, can't stress that enough. So really impressed with the Android tablet. And uh, I think Arcos got this one right. You know, I think a lot of people want something to browse the web with and uh, whether it's on the couch uh, or in bed or on the go and this product does it you know the job without spending the five to eight hundred dollars that the competition offers um, even though the competition really is offering you uh, the internals of a high-end cell phone so I think Arcos got this one right in regard to Logitech review and the Google TV experience that is really you know up to whether or not you want to integrate the internet into your television experience. I think it's great. I think it's the future of TV. It's the most innovative thing we've seen done with TV in a long, long time. Not that that says a lot since not much has been done other than the crossover to HD, um, unless you really are thrilled with uh, 3D, which I am not. Uh, but on the whole, I think the Logitech review really offers a lot for 300, but as it becomes a less expensive, you know, discounted device, I think it will become a more popular product since a lot of people are scratching their head about what Google TV is still at this point and I don't blame them uh, it hasn't been marketed very well but uh, that aside hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, if you have any questions or comments please feel free to post them and of course as usual please feel free to subscribe again hope you enjoyed later